Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my Best of Beauty 2014 video. So, um, I just want to point out, sorry if I'm not, like, enthusiastic and loud and stuff like that, like I usually am, but I'm kind of under the weather today. I woke up with a stuffed nose, sore throat, and a headache, so... Um, I'm sorry about that, but I really wanted to get a video, this video up for you guys because one, I've gotten a ton of requests for it, and two, it is almost the end of January, so I really wanted to get this out for you guys before January is over. Also, I just wanted to kind of point out my makeup because this is kind of like my everyday makeup routine. I honestly didn't want to put on any makeup today because I just wanted to lay down and watch TV like I am right now. Um, but I didn't want to know, you know, just because I like my eyes are really dark today and um, just stuff like that. So um, if you guys want an everyday makeup routine for... 2015, um, then be sure to like this video, um, and I will definitely do that for you guys because I really love this look. I feel like it makes my skin look very fresh and dewy and healthy. Um, I really, really like it. Um, but, yeah, so I got my water over here, and after this video, I have, like, this mask that I'm going to put on my eyes. It's, like, green goop, and this, like, you put it in the freezer, and it, you put it on your eyes, and it's really nice and I'm gonna put on a mask because my face is really dehydrated and yeah and I'm immediately gonna take off my makeup but anyway let's get on to my best of beauty favorites for 2014. So I'm going to kind of introduce the products um, from like the order you'd put them on your face so I've got a giant pile right here but the first thing is the Benefit Pore Professional Face Primer. I have a used this a lot in 2014. I got it um, around a year ago when I went to Minnesota and uh, I have loved it ever since. It really helps my makeup last a long time and it really fills in my pores. Um, it makes my skin very very soft and smooth so my foundation and my concealer goes on like a dream um, because I do suffer from a lot of texture on my face. I don't necessarily get giant pores. I just get a lot of bumps all over my face and this has really really helped um, smooth that out and I really love the smell of it. Um, it smells really nice and the packaging is really nice. It's like a squeezy tube and I'm almost running out of it and I need to go get more because I love this stuff. The next thing is foundation, and the only foundation I have to talk about is the Makeup Forever HD foundation, which looks like this. I love this foundation. It really makes my skin look very, very healthy and dewy, and it's not too heavy of coverage because, you know, I've with I've just been going through a big stage in 2014 where I do I do not want like a heavy coverage. I kind of like to look more light. And this is very, very light, and it's not too heavy coverage, and it doesn't feel heavy on my face. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing a lot of makeup on my face when I wear this. And it is so great. So, that is my foundation for the year. Also, a little disclaimer. Sorry if this video is long. I can already tell it's going to be really long. So, sorry about that. Anyway, um, now on to concealers. I only have two concealers. Um, one is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. No-brainer. I mean... Of course, it's one of my favorites. I love this stuff. I know I still have a lot left um, because I usually wear this when I'm going to a special occasion and I on like I really don't want my concealer to crease and I know like I can trust this stuff to make my face look good. So I really love this to I love to wear this when I have special occasions because I feel like it's a little bit too expensive to wear every day in my personal opinion. But yeah, I seriously love this stuff. And the next concealer is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is what I use every single day in um, substitute for this. Um, I use this literally every day. Um, I'm almost running out of it, as you can see, and I love this stuff. It, it It's like the exact same as the MAC Pro Longwear. This one, it just creases a little bit more on me than the MAC Pro Longwear, um, but it is so amazing. Oops. 
is really amazing and I love both of these concealers. So I only have two powders. So the first one is the Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder. I love this powder to set all over my face or if I don't feel like wearing any concealer or foundation or anything but I just want my face to look matte and um, have a little bit of coverage. I like to put this all over my face and it is very very smooth and very creamy and I love this stuff. And then the next one is the Ben Nye Translucent Face Powder in Fair. I love this stuff to set my eyelids. I've noticed because this powder is very very thick and heavy duty so I do not like to use this under my eyes because I always go overboard with it and it looks really really cakey under my eyes and so I don't use that under this for under my eyes anymore but I've noticed that no powder can control my oils except for this one. I love this powder to set the concealer and the oil on my eyelids because I have horribly horribly oily eyelids that it's like so crazy how much oil is produced on my eyelids and my use my shadow used to crease all the time but once I tried this on my eyelids it locks the oil down it does not the oil no oil seeps through it and my um, shadow does not crease at all when I set it with this powder so yeah those are my two favorite powders so now we're going to move on to the palettes I only have two palettes for this year the first one is the Sigma Warm Neutrals palette you guys know I've been obsessing over this palette for 2014. I love this palette um, for when I want a very warm, neutral look. These two are the most popular that I use um, and that I'm almost hitting pan on, which I'm so scared about. I hope Sigma sells these two separately so I can just buy them separately um, because I love them so much. This one is cinnamon and then this one is sugar milk. But I seriously love this palette, and I love this one as well. It's like a goldy champagne color. It's really amazing. It has a really good variety of transition shades, lid shades, outer V shades. It's amazing. I love this palette. And then the next one is the Naked Urban Decay palette. This is kind of like a staple in everyone's collection. I love this palette so much. I've actually hit pan on Naked. Um, just a tiny, tiny bit, if you can see right there, um, just that lo tiny little piece of pan. I love this palette so much. It has a really good variety of, again, two highlight shades, um, really good transition shades, um, deepening, up, deepening the outer V shades, whatever. And then you have a really good variety of lid shades. I love this one, Half Baked. And I love Sidecar and what is this? Toasted. I love them all. I love this palette. This was honestly my go to palette for 2014. I seriously love this palette. Now, on to single eyeshadows. I only have three. The first one is the Stila Kitten eyeshadow. I love, love this eyeshadow. It is so amazing. It's so creamy and very pigmented. There was just like a, like a rave with this shadow in 2014. I don't know when, maybe like, I think it was like in August or something where this shadow was like the bomb and everyone wanted it. And um, I seriously love it so much. I can totally see why people raved about this in 2014. It is so amazing. The next one is, both of them are from the L'Oreal Infallible collection. Um, the first one I'll talk about is Amber Rush, which looks like that. Um, it is so pretty. I love this so much. These are very, very pigmented, and they're almost, like, moist, I think. Because you can, like, when you dip your brush in it, it kind of, like, squishes down. So I think they're actually moist, which makes them very pigmented. And this is actually a dupe I found for the MAC Tan Pigment. This is a very, very good dupe for that. Um, this one's just a little bit more warmer and more copper than the tan one, but I love this so much. It is so pretty. Um, this is like your color where you can just put it on a lid and blend it up, and you don't even need a crease color. You can just use that. It's so amazing. And then the next one is the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in the shade Internal Sunshine. This is just a beautiful 
goldy shade. I love this during the summertime when I just want an easy makeup tutorial, but I want to look really glowy and dewy and beautiful. This is my go-to shadow. It is a true, true gold. It looks so pretty on, I think this would look good on everyone. From pale to dark, it looks really, really pretty. So, yeah, love that. I only have one favorite eyeliner for this year, and that is the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner in Blackest Black. This is so amazing. This is truly a really pitch black eyeliner. It lasts all day. It doesn't, like, transfer onto my crease when I blink. Um, it sets really, really fast. And I like to put this in my waterline as well, and it doesn't irritate my eyes when I do that. And it does not, again, transfer to my upper um, tight line. It is so amazing. I've been loving this liner for 2014. For mascaras, I only have three. Shush foam. I only have three. So the first one is the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara. I love this for separating my lashes and making them longer. It is so amazing. The next one is the Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal. I love this one for school. This is like, it makes your lashes look very voluminous at the roots, but it just, it makes your lashes look very natural. Um, it just looks like they look more voluminous and just, it ju they just make them look better, but it's very natural at the same time. And then I have the Benefit Their Real Mascara. This one is both lengthening and volumizing. I love this stuff. It is so flipping amazing. So I've been loving these three mascaras for 2014. Now for blushes, I did not have any favorite bronzers or highlighters because that was kind of the year where I was really struggling with finding my perfect shade for a contour or bronzer shade. So none of them worked for me. And highlighter, I couldn't find my right shade. And I, w I just I just wasn't really interested in highlighters in 2014, so I do not have any favorite highlighters, but blushes I do. So the first one is the Wet n Wild blush in Mellow Wine. I love this blush in the fall and winter time because it is just more, it's like a deeper, um, oh, it's like a deeper, um, mauve rose kind of shade. It's just so pretty in the fall and winter months. I love it. Then I have MAC MOBA. This is kind of like a staple in everyone's collection. This goes with any eye look, anything, literally. You can do it with a smoky eye. You can do it with barely any eyeshadow. You can do it with like a neutral smoky eye. It's just so universal and it's amazing. And then I have the Clinique Cheek Pop in Berry Pop. You guys know I love this stuff. I seriously love this blush. Um, I haven't gotten any more. I am definitely going to get like Ginger Pop. I was saying that last year, but I still haven't gotten any. But I'm definitely going to get more. But this is probably my favorite, and I'm definitely going to repurchase this one because I love this so much. It just makes my, my cheeks very healthy. It makes them look very healthy and youthful and glowy and I mean the design in the middle it's like so cute it's like a little daisy so yeah I have been loving these blushes for 2014. I actually did forget an eyeliner um this is the Rimmel Scandalized um waterproof eye coal in the shade Nude. Um I love this um eyeliner for my waterline it is very, very creamy, and they're so pigmented, and um, it doesn't, again, irritate my eyes when I put it in my waterline. It does not transfer. It does not fade. It sticks down um, because it is waterproof, but it's not hard to take off, but it does last a long time. Shush. Yeah, but I, I love this stuff. It is so amazing. So I do have quite a few lip products. This is kind of the year where I just loved lip products. I really wanted a lot of lip products because I did want to buy a, the um, acrylic cases. And so I really wanted to build up my lipstick collection and lip gloss collection. But I'm going to start with the lipsticks. So the first ones I will mention are the Maybelline Creamy Mattes. Um, I love these so flipping much. They're so creamy. They're so creamy. 
Um, they feel very similar to the NYX um, Soft Matte Lip Creams, um, but just in solid form. They're so amazing. I have two right here. This one is Touch of Spice, and then this one is Lust for Blush. Um, they are so amazing and very pigmented, so I have been loving those. Next are two MAC lipsticks. Um, I have here Cream Cup and Creme de Nude. So this is Cream Cup, yeah. So this is Cream Cup. I love this lipstick for a everyday wear for the winter time. This one is kind of like my staple nude for the winter time. Um, and it's kind of like my staple nude if I want more of a pinky nude. Um, next I have Crema de Nude, which is gorgeous on me in the summer, but in the winter when I'm pale, it's just, ooh, right now it's just so, it looks very bad on me. It looks like I'm dead right now, but in the summer it looks very, very pretty. And this is my staple nude for when I want a beige nude and um, if I just, in the summer, it's a, a staple in the summer. Um, it looks like that. Again, it's very beige, but it's sheer, so you can see the lip color underneath. And, yeah, they're so pretty. And both of these, by the way, if you guys were wondering, are cream sheens. So, cream cup and creme de nude. Next, I have a L'Oreal Colorish lipstick um, in the shade 800 Ferris Nude. This is kind of like my staple nude all year round. This works in the summer. It works in the winter. And it's kind of like in between a brown and a pink and a beige. It's just like the most universal nude in the world. But as you can see, it's just like, it's really hard to describe what kind of shade it is because it's more on the brown, but it does have some pink in it and also some beige. So I can't really describe it, but it is so amazing. And the texture of these are impeccable and it's amazing. Then I have a Wet n Wild lipstick. This is in the shade of Cherry Bomb. This is a very, very dark, vampy, reddish purple, cranberry kind of color. It is so amazing. They have a ton of different lipstick shades in this line, and they are only like two bucks each, which is so crazy. I do not understand how they make money off these because they are so affordable. Um, but they are very, very pigmented. They're more on the thicker side of the, um, of the formula. It's more of like a thicker, more like, kind of like drags your lips when you're applying it. But once you put it on, it doesn't feel heavy, um, which is really nice. So, yeah, I've been loving that for the winter time. And then last for the lipsticks is this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Antwerp. It's actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now. <sighs> These are impeccable. I love these soft matte lip creams. I have another one. Um, I, I believe it's in the shade like Tokyo or something. Um, but I this is my favorite one. I love this. This is like your most perfect coral. I'll kind of get close up. Like my face. Um, so yeah, I love these lip products because especially because these do not, these are like the only matte product that do not cling on to my dry patches and like show my wrinkles in my lips the least. I It still does show my wrinkles. I mean, that's kind of expected, but this is the only product that does not cling on to dry patches and show my wrinkles that much, which I love. And they're so creamy. Like I said, these and the um, Maybelline Creamy mattes are the most creamy mattes I've ever felt in my life because usually matte lipsticks are very drying. These are so creamy. They're amazing. So, um, And these just have like a doe foot applicator. So I love, love this. So now onto lip glosses. So the first one I have is the Buxom Lip Gloss in Lily. I love this so flipping much. You guys know. I love Buxom Lip Glosses as well. I have another one, and they're so amazing. I love the feeling they give on your lips. Um, and I love how uh, Buxom Lip Glosses, at least a lot of them, have shimmer in them. But for me, if you don't like how the glitter leaves off on your lips when the lip product is gone, I personally don't like that. But these do not, like the glitters, 
don't leave off on my lips with these. Um, they just kind of come off at once, and so my, my lips are just kind of blank, which is kind of nice because I do not like the glitter that leaves off in some lip products, and these do not. But, yeah, and the formula is impeccable. They're not sticky at all, and I love them. And the last for the lip products, and the last items for my favorites of 2014 are the Gerard Cosmetics Color Your Smile Lip Glosses. I bet these are no surprise. For you guys but um they are amazing so i am not going to go really into depth about these because i do have a separate review on these um i swatch them and i talk about how they feel and stuff so i will link that down below and stuff like that so yeah um but these are impeccable these are very pigmented so creamy love the packaging very very classy they have the mirror and the hold on let me find it more and the LED light in the top, which is just so creative and amazing. And I I just love these lip products. What can I say? They're so flipping amazing. So, yeah. So that was my Best of Beauty 2014 video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, sorry I'm under the weather and, yeah, stuff like that. But to right now, after I film this outro, I'm going to take off my makeup make vine edits, and watch TV. All day. But, um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and again, if you want a everyday makeup look, um, something like this, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and I will definitely get that up for you guys soon. But, yeah, so I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all in my next video. Peace out.